Welcome back. I'm Brandon, the HBAR Bull, and I do some contract work for the HBAR Foundation. That said, the opinions expressed today are only those of my guest and I, not the foundation. Today, we welcome back the founders of the soon-to-be-launched Hedera Dex H Suite. Welcome back, guys. Thanks for having us. Thank you for having us. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. So um, as a recap, can you just explain real quick what H Suite is? Yeah, of course, no worries. So our DeFi is Hedera based. We make use of the HCS and HFS and HTS to create our smart node engine. We are fully bypassing smart contracts by using our smart node engine. It eliminates the risks of most common malicious exploitation. And by using dynamic multi-sig feature, we're given even more trust to every single transaction that gets signed. So our protocol will take out the, the biggest speed and all the advantages of the native speed of Adira. Uh, would be much faster than smart contracts can be and without any limitations related to performance, memory, data structure, and so on. It does inherit the AFBFT security and HCS. We basically inherit all the basic and advanced features of a Hedera. And as Dr. Lehman said recently in an interview, you can't fly by on Hedera by using smart contracts. You know, our approach is unique because we build purely on top of Hedera and our smart node approach breaks down all the limitations in terms of memory performance, speed related to smart contracts 2.0. So our ultimate goal here is to build a whole engine capable of providing a DEX swap, multi-sig, token builder, NFT trading, custom ICO and launch pad and much more. Uh, our nodes work like Hedera. So it's basically a decentralized network. Uh, we have a wallet lister buying behavior of let's say an ICO, DEX, swap, staking, et cetera. Every node of our network will monitor all of those wallets and execute the correct behavior, creating the corresponding transaction and asking all the nodes to sign because it will be multi-sig. So it's like the first node or the most free one at the moment will create a scheduled transaction in response to a given event. And the other nodes will evaluate the goodness of that transaction, deciding to sign it or not. And that's where consensus takes place. Even if in the future, everybody can run a node, a node gets compromised or acts in a malicious way, the others will not sign and blacklist them right after. We have 15 committee members. So every time we want to move funds from a multi-sig treasury wallet, it requires the committee members to use a Docker to sign the transaction with their private keys to authorize the transaction within their Dockers which then gets moved to our executive wallet, which has five executive committee members who control these funds. So when we want to pay salaries or anything marketing related, we require executive committee members to use their private keys and authorize the transaction with their dockers so we can move funds to our development wallet. Okay, understood. So when do you think you're actually gonna launch your DEX? Okay, so I just wanna to touch up on something real quick first that Admarty said. Sure. Um, we, we used the first scheduled transaction, but we actually uh, implemented some changing recently uh, for performance reason. And we're using offline transactions, which uh, they're much uh, more performant. And uh, regarding uh, launching, so uh, August 16, uh, in a few days, should be starting the penetration testing done with uh, Halborn, which is a security audit company that uh, has also been used by Hashport and uh, I think a couple other Edera based projects. Uh, so we're excited to to be working together. So I would say um, the penetration testing should take about a month. And then I would say like to know, um, to give us a little bit of time, probably I would say like um, a couple months uh, from now, we should uh, more likely be live. So at least uh, after uh, penetration testing, it will probably give ourselves a month to make sure that everything is in place. But in regards to generically speaking of uh, uh, the main difference that we could talk about regards in smart smart contracts on Adera versus the smart nodes that we built is that, for example, the smart contracts on Adera uh, currently have a memory limit of uh, 10 megabytes. Uh, so you have uh, uh, data structure limitations as well, with, while uh, with the smart nodes, uh, technically, you, we don't really have uh, data structure limit or memory limit. They're like uh, infinitely scalable. And uh, they're like, um, on the smart contracts, you have uh, Ethereum virtual machine dependency, which travels down the uh, transaction per seconds on around the two, three hundred ish on Adera regarding uh, the smart contracts. While we still uh, use through the smart nodes, we use the Adera native services like the consensus service, token service, file service, and we're able to achieve uh, um, 10,000 transactions per seconds or, or whatever uh, Adera native uh, layer allows us to. 
we already have deployed uh, different services on mainnet, such as uh, NFT staking, where they have uh, uh, pro NFT projects where uh, work with us, and we offer uh, staking as a service. And we also have uh, uh, we just released uh, Round Two, as you speak. So now anybody who wishes to join in H Suite and get some H Suite, uh, they can just go to the HBar Suite dot app. Uh, slash launchpad and uh, just connect their Ashback wallet and uh, have some HBAR and they will be able to swap instantly some HBAR for HSuite. Okay, well, I do want to uh, say a few words about that. You know, before we get into the token sale any further, I do want to highlight that crypto is a regulatory gray area and anyone that is participating needs to get professional financial and legal advice before getting involved. And of course, nothing on here is financial advice. Uh, with that little disclaimer out of the way, can you go into a little bit more detail about your token presale? Uh, yes. So this round that we're running, uh, the current applies is 1 H suite equals uh, 0.004 H bar. And this price has been decided through a DAO vote that uh, the people that bought uh, round one uh, round one presale and the presale before that um, voted on the, what the prices should have been. So they had different options. And uh, this was really exciting because this is one of the first votes that we had done through HBAR Suite as a DAO. And uh, yeah, it's really great. And uh, it's really, really simple as you join the website and uh, you connect your Ashback wallet. It will be a few clicks away on just uh, joining HBAR Suite as a token. But as you said, there's like nothing is financial advice and uh, anybody could do their own research in the crypto space. All right. The link that you gave me earlier today wasn't working this morning. I, I assume that it's live at this point. It is live now. Yes, you can check it again. All right. Sounds good. Okay, guys. Now we just want to come on and give a quick update as to where you guys were and what you guys were doing. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to pass on before we let you go? I think that's good for now. We will have uh, many updates coming soon. And uh, people that wish to follow us, just look for uh, um, HBAR, Suite, HBAR Suite on Twitter. And from there, you can also see, uh, or as well as our website, hsuite.finance, and our uh, the app is uh, hbarsuite.app, and you can find all the information in those uh, websites there. All right, sounds good. And Mortis, do you have anything else you'd like to pass on? Yeah, just just one more comment for you know the NFT projects that are listening um, that people may not be aware of. We will be offering a multi-sig feature for projects and investors on on the Hedera wallets in the future as well uh, to help prevent rug pulls. So the NFT projects out there that would like a multi-sig wallet in the future. Mm -hmm. And for the investors, you know, say you've got a mother and father and a sister and you all want access to that wallet, we can help provide a multi-sig wallet. So you all have to sign a transaction until the funds get transferred. So that's something just to bear in mind for the future. But apart from that, I appreciate you having us on. Absolutely. It's my pleasure. That extra security layer of the multi-sig sounds like something that would really be helpful. We've heard about lots of issues, not not only, you know, in the Hedera space uh, with scams and things like that, but in the entire crypto space. So your efforts there are appreciated. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by and giving us an update and, and good luck with your project. Thank you, Brandon. I appreciate it. Thank you very much, Brandon. Speak to you again soon.